Hey loves, Free here. I was hoping to do another funny video for you guys, but I wanted to address a subject that's been coming up a lot in the groups and in my personal messages. Longevity. How do we stay sane and positive past that two and a half year mark, two year mark, even one year mark? Because like many of you pondering this question, I am definitely there with you. It's difficult, it's not an easy task. From month one to 12, it's a little easier to keep that fire, that drive towards health. There's a motivation to heal. Time is still on your side. Then the one year mark hits and you're a little let down that you're not healed yet, but it's still considered early in the healing process. So you kind of forgive TSW for being so slow, but it needs to get it together. So you're in year one, you keep going and going, and you're still sick, still struggling and dealing with shitty symptoms, you start to feel discouraged. Why is nothing happening? And you know, maybe you are healing a bit. Maybe there are some improvements. And there are people around you who are trying to remind you to be thankful for those improvements. And on the outside, yeah, they're right. We should be thankful for those improvements. Yet on the inside, you're like, You don't want to break shit with me, mother uh, oh man. <laughs> Which is fair. And once your two passes, and then you even creep past that 2.5 year mark, where most people seem to be healed already, heartbreaking depression starts to unfold. The doubt arrives to the party. You feel more negative than positive especially if old symptoms start to appear again. <laughs> you did not miss them, but what you have missed are weddings, birthdays, celebrations, get-togethers, etc., etc. You really start to wonder if you'll ever be healed, if life will ever be normal. I feel that way too sometimes. I have stable days where I deal with TSW as if it's normal life, and I have really low days where I'll put on a smile, but I really just want to be in bed and wish the day away. And that's not me. The real me has been buried for quite some time under TSW. The me that hated wasting time in bed. The me that was constantly productive, always involved in something, and yet still had the energy to go out and enjoy life. And I know it's hard to keep in touch with that person inside of you, the real you but they are your reason to keep going. This time will not go in vain. We are not lost and we are not without hope. It can take a really, really long time for some of us to heal and I wish I knew why. It is one of the hugest motivations for my preventable documentary to get that answer. Why do some of us suffer so long and why on earth is the medical community not trying to prevent this from happening? Because it's horrifying. It is exhausting to explain, and we deserve better. So in this lonely hour of peril, where you feel like you are running in constant circles, please remember you're not alone. At least know that I am here with you, and my tush isn't going anywhere. I will always fight for myself and for you. I love you all so much. Keep those brave chins up. <laughs>